Good morning, good morning. This is your girl, Courage Molina, Chief Courage Crusader, Confidence Coach, and your favorite Bible teacher. What's good, what's good, what's good? I um, want to talk to you for just a little bit about becoming a little bit more productive, right? So, listen, everybody busy. Okay, everybody is, we all be, everybody busy, but we are not all productive. And so it's like now you're home with the kids and the kids are home and you're trying to work from home and you just have more stuff on your plate than maybe you had before. I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, you're home, you have more time. But when I started to stay at home, like I was a full-time entrepreneur working from home, I didn't have more time. Do you know why? Because. As a mom and a wife in the house all day, even though I was working, it was like, there are all these things that you still like, that you feel like you should be doing. Um, you're at home and so you have like housework to do or people think you at home so they feel like you should be able to do X, Y, Z um, for them. And it's like, no, cause I'm kind of working. So I get it. Just because you're home does not mean that you have all this free time on your hands. Somehow the time that you used to use for your commute to and from work and all that running around has now been taken up with some other task. You don't even know where that time went. You thought like, oh, I don't have to get, I don't have to do all these things, but it, somehow you don't have that time. You thought you was going to have time, but you ain't got that time. So now what, how can you be more productive? Um, it's through your morning routine. What's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? Now, listen, I feel like I owe y'all an apology, honestly, because I have been talking to you guys for years about the importance of starting your day with the word, the importance of getting in the word, studying the word so that you can get closer to God and you can apply it to your life. Um, I talked to you about the power principles of courageous living, you know, things that you can do in your day to day life to help boost your confidence and to make your faith bolder and give you the courage to go after the things you really want in life, right? And I've shared my story with you. I have shared my story with you, but somehow, somehow I didn't talk to you about, like I didn't really talk to you about how I became so much more productive. And I think it's honestly because I didn't really realize it. So when I first started, the thing that helped me to get over, you know, my depression and all that, when I first started, I told y'all I started reading the Bible like I was trying to get a PhD in Jesus. What that really means is that I changed what I did first thing in the morning. Because prior to that, all the years prior to that, I was just getting up, hitting the floor, right? Getting up and hitting the ground running. Or I was laying in bed, hitting the snooze button, looking up at the ceiling, annoyed with all the things I had to do. It wasn't until I spent, it wasn't until I sent, sent the first part of my morning, part of my morning, um, doing something else, right? Filling up. It wasn't until I started spending the first part of my morning filling up. So I would get up, I would make my tea and I would sit at the table and I would read my Bible. That was me getting poured into. That was a different morning routine. I wasn't getting up, brushing my teeth, getting dressed and immediately going into house chores and things like that. No, I was getting up right? I was getting up and um, pouring in. And so I did that for years. And then I added a few new activities. I read this book called The Miracle Morning. It was amazing. And I started doing those activities. Well, because I started doing those activities, I felt like I wasn't reading my Bible as much. Then I was trying to read my Bible and all that didn't really work out. So then I started, like I changed the morning routine. I basically created my own morning routine and started doing that. And I've been doing that probably for the past year now. Um, even though I keep saying it's the miracle morning, it's not really the miracle morning, but I changed it right to fit my belief system and to fit what I think are the most important things that you should be doing in the morning or that I should be doing in the morning. And so I started doing that, but I didn't talk to y'all about what that looks like. So there's one thing 
is you have to have a morning routine. If you want to increase your productivity throughout the day, you have to start your day filling your own cup up because it's easier to go further in the day to get more done, to have more clarity, to stay focused on the things that you actually need to get done and not distracted by the things that you don't need to get done. It's easier to do that when you've been poured into, when your cup is full. It's easier to serve other people when you are filled up. And the is through a morning routine. Now, I know one of the biggest things I hear all the time is that, oh, I'm not a morning person. That's fine. You don't have to be a morning person. I'm not telling you to get up at 4.45 a.m. because I get up at 4.45 a.m. What I am saying, though, is that you... Um, if you want to have more productive days and you're going to implement a morning routine, then you want to get up 30 minutes before you have to get up, or you want to get up 60 minutes. I recommend 60 minutes, 60 minutes before you have to get up. So if you don't have to get up until 10 AM to start your day, get up at 9 AM, not 4 45 AM. Um, I hear people say, well, I'm just more creative at night. Okay. I'm not asking you to create. I'm not asking you to create in your morning routine. I'm asking you to get fed, okay? To feed your body, your mind, and your faith first thing in the morning to get connected, not in like some passive way where you just kind of say this prayer, but where you're intentional, you have a time and a space, right? Sacred space for you to do this um, morning routine, right? Because that's what you want to do. So you want to set a time, you want to get up, and you want to have activities that are going to allow you to feed your mind, your body. Maybe you're not eating that early. I'm not. I'm I'm having a nice uh, citrus type drink. I'm drinking... I'm drinking lemon lime water, spring water, one lemon, one lime. That's what I'm drinking. Um, but that's what you want to do. That's how you want to start your day if you want to be most productive. Now, listen, people are like, how is adding this thing to my list going to make me more productive? You already said I don't have time. Well, the problem is the reason you ain't got time is because you're doing stuff that you might not need to be doing. How crazy would it be for you to be hitting a bullseye on a target that ain't even yours? So you're getting up every day, busy, 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 but still at the end of the day, you don't feel like you've gotten anything done. You still feel overwhelmed. You still feel like, oh, I did all that in 24 hours, but there are still 30,000 things that I haven't gotten done. Going to bed defeated, waking up defeated because you already feel defeated by the day. You're just overwhelmed. This helps to put things in perspective. Having a morning helps to put things in perspective, okay? So what do I have? I got something for you. I don't always have something for you, but I have something for you. I have, I have created for you. Okay, hold on. Sorry. I have created for you a, a video training that will teach you step-by-step step what the Boulder Mornings routine are. So Boulder Mornings, created by yours truly, is a morning routine with six activities, but I explain it all in the video. And there's also a workbook to help you implement it. So instead of just telling y'all, oh, this is what I do, this is what I do, I'm actually going to show you how to do it step-by-step. Step. It's completely free. I am going to share a link uh, in the comments. Okay. I'm going to share a link in the comments so you can go ahead and click that and, and get signed up for it. Um, and then you can let me know how it's going for you. Okay. I hope this has been helpful. It is so important for you to have a morning routine that feeds your mind, body, and spirit. Okay. All right. I love y'all. And I don't even understand how my internet is a problem. I'm lit. I can literally see the router, but it is raining. So maybe it's temperamental. Um, but until next time, I am your girl, Courage Molina, Chief Courage Crusader, Confidence Coach, and your favorite Bible teacher. Until next time, y'all be strong and very courageous. Okay. Love y'all. Later.